Okay. Yep, that's the only way we're doing. Also known as SCP-2367. Alright, okay. let's get on into reading this one. A bit of a warning, uh, a certain German party is mentioned. <laughs> the angry mustache party. Yeah. <laughs> Item SCP-2367. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-2367 is contained on site and a hangar constructed around it, with level 5 security measures in place. A cover story of a high security German military base is in effect, as of redacted. Testing is prohibited until event 2367 Sigma occurs. Foundation agents embedded with Berlin Emergency Response Services will monitor radio traffic for possible SCP-2367-1 manifestations. Dispatching agents to carry out recovery, cleanup, and administration of amnestics as necessary. Dash 1 instances are non-anomalous and require no special containment outside of recovery. Upon initiation of Event 2367, Sigma Citywide deployment of rescue airbags, mass administration of anesthetics, and emergency repair measures will be used to minimize detrimental effects. Description SCP-2367 is a geodesic hemisphere 15 meters in diameter, constructed from steel and painted with force pattern camouflage. There is a small control panel on the south side and a 4 meter square door adjacent to the control panel. The interior is a smooth hemisphere approximately 13 meters in diameter. The device is built as a means of displaying objects, including live humans, to targeted points in space-time. In testing, objects displaced in such a manner invariably appeared several hundred meters above their intended destination. Both forward and backward temporal travel have been achieved in testing. It requires no external power to operate. I'm gonna comment that its rating is safe. Yeah. It could kill you. Yeah. Safe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, SP-2367-1 instances are individuals or objects that were sent through SP-2367 prior to foundation recovery of the object. To date, 6-1 instances have manifested listed below. Four unidentified males wearing enlisted uh, Shustafel uniforms, all deceased upon impact. Well, they, well, they are all dead. <laughs> wow. One STG-44 assault rifle unloaded. One parachute of the type issued to Chairman Paratroopers during World War II. SB-236... Oh wait, for more information on S on Dash-1 instances, see for re referral documentation. Referral documentation? Apparently. Peripheral. Oh, peripheral. Or peripheral documentation. SP-2367 was recovered during Operation Hammer. Foundation's infiltration to, of the German government during World War II recovered documents indicate that SP-2367 referred therein as Die Glock, which translates as The Bell, was constructed under the supervision of SS Opera Gruppenfuhrer Otto, Otto Weber. Person of interest number 420714. At some point prior to May 1945, Event 2367 Sigma is the anticipated rematerialization of the subjects of the only known uses use of the device by its builders, excluding Dash 1 instances. Several high ranking NSDAP members fleeing the Red Army. Their anticipated destination is in the vicinity of Berlin on October 13th, 2031. Re addendum. Review of documents 
recovered over the course of Operation Hammer indicate that SV-2367 was used to evacuate a large number of individuals that than previously thought. Lower end estimates place the number of individuals that manifest during event 367 Sigma at approximately 1400, including a fully equipped field artillery platoon and a dozen Tiger 1 tanks, Mobile Task Force PSI 33. Himmler's housekeepers has been reorganized and expanded to minimize casualties and civilian exposure to event 2367 Sigma. Evacuation of Berlin and appropriate cover story are under consideration. So there's going to be eventually in October 13, 2031, there's going to be a bunch of German uh, mustache party people are going to come out with this anomaly in Berlin. Yeah, we, we cannot say the name of it outright because yeah. I mean, it's right here, if you don't understand. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to grab some pictures so we can know what the things that were sent over look like. Okay. Because I just have a feeling in my heart I, I... that it won't look fully accurate in the video. Yeah. I know what the German tanks look like, because I've seen them before, because I like going to history the, museums. The Tiger tanks? Yeah. I, I've, see, I've seen them in my state. Like, we have, like, a World War Two and World War One history museum. I didn't expect you to be interested in history. I am sorry. I, I have an advanced history degree in high school. <laughs> I, I love history. <laughs> Why haven't we ever spoken about history before? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I know what the tanks look like. I know that now. Yeah. But anyways, we gotta go to the first thing. The thumbnail. Is that clickbait? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. They included 4K Ultra HD in their thumbnail. <laughs> I'm going to say the only thing that SVP does is literally teleport people. Yeah. So that's that's immediate clickbait. That has nothing to do with teleporting. Granted, it, it did say some people died upon impact, but it didn't say how. From falling. Yeah. It's suggested from the description and <laughs> die on impact in that they died falling from the sky. <laughs> they died from the sky. They fell flat happened probably. Flat break. I don't know. It depends on how far they fell. It really does. And I don't want to imagine how big the mess was or wasn't. The main thing that I find most funny is they put a 4K Ultra HD in the thumbnail. <laughs> like, really? Did you have to include that? <laughs> They're going to make this more violent than it actually is, aren't they? Yes. I mean, let's face it. People falling from the sky and dying is aggressively violent, yeah. but they're going to make it more violent somehow. <laughs> Their skin's going to be melted right off upon teleportation. <laughs> I don't know. I just look at their rating of violence, and only one of those ratings wasn't a four. Yeah. <laughs> I just have a feeling they're... They're going to use a way to lie and make it more violent. Yeah, so clickbait thumbnail is a yes. Yeah. I, I, I think that's a four. What about you? Yeah, it's a four. It, actually, the SVP device doesn't even look like what's the the same shape, does it? Am I imagining things? Let me relook it, at the... It's translated as the bell. 
but it just says it's a geodesic hemisphere 15 meters in diameter, constructed from steel and painted with force pattern camouflage. Now, if you really look at the how they drew it, that's not force pattern. That just looks. That's not I'm force pattern. Up what a geodesic hemisphere is, because I'm pretty sure that is a type of sphere. Yeah. And yes, that's what I thought. It is. It is a type of half sphere. Yeah. But like. It's not a bell, so it may be called a bell, but it is not a bell. Also, it's supposed to have a force pattern camouflage. There's no camouflage on it on the thumbnail. Yeah, so it's supposed to be shaped like half a global sphere yeah. and covered in force pattern camouflage. I knew it wasn't a bell the the moment I read geodesic that <laughs> geodesic well you read it. You're better yeah. at fucking pronouncing it. <laughs> Even and the funny thing is I guessed how to pronounce it and it's probably correct. <laughs> Good news is they kept the license in. Well, the the mustache party people are supposed to be there. They're, that's just not how they're supposed to look. Yeah. <laughs> they're supposed to to die upon falling because it teleported them too high. It popped them up too high. They fell down and they. What we don't know what state their body was in, only that they died on impact. Yeah. Well, that sounds like a quick way to have a blood stream take. <laughs> oh, yes, that's very aggressive, but somehow, you, I think they made it more aggressive in that thumbnail. What do you think? Mm, it, it looks kind of like it's sucking off their flesh. <laughs> somehow. Also, look, you see that glowing bell metal thing? Yeah. That's their version of the SCP, the thing that's shaped like a half sphere covered in, in camouflage pattern. I feel like they ran this through the AI and the AI tried, but the person who put the information didn't understand the assignment. This is definitely a quick state somehow. <laughs> Sadly, I think a person actually made it. Yeah, I'm not seeing any signs of an AI. Actually... Yeah, also, if you want to know what kind of person they are, they made art of uh, the teenage Gaia as this as the thumbnail, and she starts off as 12. Yep. <laughs> Did you just take your glasses off? Well... <laughs> I don't need to see more of that. <laughs> taking off their glasses, but that means they're done. That's kind of like taking your eyeballs out and going, yeah, I'm done with this. Also, hi, Nuriyakia? Yeah. Hi. Anyways, you ready to see the first video? Good news is they kept the license. It looks like they're the only content form actually putting the license. I mean, it's good that they're keeping their license. They need all the help with the with the ratings we're giving them that they they can get. Yeah. I couldn't say it that way, but Are we ready? 
I'm ready. I think you're ready. And Spoot is ready to ignore it and pretend it doesn't exist. I'm just worried how quickly it's going to offend me, of all people. <laughs> well, <laughs> your family escaped. That's that's part of history. I think that's all I'm going to say on that. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. And three, two, one. This was a location. He was sure of it. Klaus had spent years searching through restricted Foundation files to find it. His investigation what? had taken him around the what? world, from Russia to Japan, in search of this damn thing. Now, finally, Why would you behind this Russia oversized extra- for something from Germany? <laughs> Where are they getting this information? Yeah, it's still in Germany, right? Yes, it's still in Germany. It, it never left Germany. Extremely <laughs> thick lead hanger door was the answer. The end to his quest to find out what SCP-2367 was. I just realized what it had to do. Yeah. He never said he looked in Germany. Oh my god. Maybe they'll mention it's in Germany at some point, but they looked in Russia and other places, but Germany was not mentioned. <laughs> the German SCP that is in Germany. Yeah. Do with the disappearance of his father towards the end of the Second World War. And to think, this whole thing started by pure chance. It could have happened to anyone. No. Even with his empirical scientific mind, Kloss believed there was no such thing as coincidence. It was destined for it to have happened to him and to tie together what? all the missing pieces what? of his father and the lies they had told him about. What? What? <laughs> what? Is there something we don't know about this SCP? There's... No. Don't think so. I guess we'll keep going. Traitor, they called him. SCP Foundation Turncoat. You know what? He had why, why don't we pause this? Why don't we look at, at what happens when we click Auto Weber? Just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Okay. Auto Weber. To Ursula Weber. Sent October 1939. Blank, blank. I'm not reading those out loud. How are you, my Hi. wife? I okay, Adana. It doesn't. I will read this while you stretch and hydrate. I just stretched and hydrated, anyways. Oh, oh, you're fast. Okay, how are you, my wife? I hope all is well, and I have no idea how the fuck to pronounce that word. Magdeburg. I'm part German. I've never spoken German. <laughs> My sister learned German. I don't blame her. Her her name is literally a German word. As you may have heard from the radio, we have attained victory in the September campaign. More importantly, I am all right. We have married in haste for fear of the worst, but it appears that it, our fears were unfounded. Nonetheless, the spur of the moment gave us reason to fight on. I owe it to those church bells that gave us that thought, at least among my fellows. I know that I'm fighting for you. That being said, my deployment is still ongoing. Cannot return yet. Okay. Next letter. Blank, blank. I'm not reading that. Merry <laughs> Christmas, my wife. I received your previous letter and am astonished to think that it only took one night to conceive a child. This is wonderful. Oh man, what kind of night was that? Anyway, there were so little time. There was so little time, and we overcame it. This is okay. I guess that was like it, a really it, crazy I, night. Okay. I looked that at means... it. It doesn't look like until the very last one is talked about 
Diglac, which is the anomaly. Okay, then let's go to the last one. I, I don't need to know about the uh, about Otto's sex life. About how apparently <laughs> he barely exists, but he had such a wild night with his wife that she instantly got pregnant. Like, I don't need to know that. <laughs> I don't know, Adirna. The letters are Otto's uh, a mustache party person named Otto's letters to his wife. That's what they are. And that, that's probably why the bed dance is discussed. Anyway, the last letter, since Bright said, she said the only letter mentioning the SCP is the last one. Blank, blank. I'm still not reading those two words. Oh, Adirna says, by the way, Whipper is pronounced with the V sound. Oh, Weber. Weber, okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Otto well, Weber. I did not know that. Yeah, same. From Otto Weber to Ursula Weber. My wife, I hope the family's resettlement and Froslau had been progressing well since my last correspondence with you. It is regretful that I cannot be there by your side, but we know the blank needs me more. Mustache party needs me more. Now more than ever before. You should know by now that the blank is not faring well since the disastrous venture in the Eastern Front. Our enemies are mm -hmm. indeed overwhelming us, even with our stock of Wunderbachos. I have no idea what that is. I forgot what it was. <laughs> Perhaps my rejected proposals might have changed the outcome, but there is no reason to speculate. Thus, selected colleagues and I have been preparing for change in tactics from offensive to defensive. It is a matter of time where they overrun the mustache party entirely. Therefore, we must defend. Ah, time. It once again brought us trouble, like our marriage. <laughs> I'm going to skip this. I don't know his, I don't need to know his sex life. <laughs> Additionally, it took only that first and last. I've gotten okay. Certainly. Oh, you know what? I'm just. Why so much on their bed life? <laughs> okay, this line is not talking about the sex life. Thus, it is fitting to name. This defense initiative died luck after the bells that began our tale of victory. The enemies can tear themselves apart, but we shall rise victorious from their corpses. And by we, you, Elizabeth, are definitely included. So it was named died luck. It, oh, so, so the SCP itself has a name that suggests bells because they considered it both a victory, not because it's a bell. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, it's not a it's not a fucking bell. It doesn't even look like a bell. It's not supposed to be a bell. Okay. Leave the settlement and come to me in our base you know, at the Owl Mountains, where Daglock awaits. The security details will escort you there. Should you give the order, they know the path. We and be together again, and that luck will guarantee time shall never impede us. Okay. So yeah, even even that letter does not give us an opening to what the fuck the video's on. <laughs> Leave any of it. His father, like him, had been a foundation man through and through. Sure, he might have been unorthodox, but that's what made him the great scientist he was. The same blood flowed through Kloss's veins. The same disdain oh, for no. authority and bureaucracy. I what? I think they're replacing the Weber family, including the daughter, with this guy. Oh, no! 
Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she'll pop up somewhere. <laughs> the daughter of Ottawa Weber. We'll Weber, see. Sorry, Weber. We'll Maybe see. She'll pop up. We'll find out. Wait, did they change the names from a different language from German? Now that I think about I, it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like German names. <laughs> oh my god. None of what was about <laughs> to be discovered today. Yeah, well, huh? Let's find out. Right. It would have been possible, though, if it wasn't for fate or that pure chance incident. He had been in Japan on assignment, pursuing SCP-4007 instances. What? He wasn't making much progress, but that's a story for another day. He found himself one afternoon walking the streets of Shibuya when he heard screams. <laughs> At the same time, he witnessed a flash of purple light in the sky and a loud whip crack like thunder. He instinctively covered his ears German? and bent down to the right, ground. Right, it's in Germany, not Japan. <laughs> I want to get rid of this. Uh, what the fuck? Okay. He searched the sky, but whatever it was, was done. He followed the screams and came across a small group of people surrounding something in the street. As he pushed through the crowd, he saw a body lying on the ground. He was dying. Blood <laughs> poured forth from his nose, eyes, and mouth. His clothing started to turn red from internal damage. He had fallen from the sky. From a rough guess, Kloss assumed he had fallen a few hundred feet, at the very least. Kloss knelt down close to the man's face. What happened to you? The man's eyes slowly looked at Kloss as he uttered, Fear does not to lie. With can, that, can we just comment that when you have that much internal damage, you're not going to be able to talk at all, you're just going to die? Yeah, you'll be dead instantly. Well, think about it. If you're bleeding from that many things and fell from that far with that much damage, your lungs will be completely flooded with blood. It'll be literally, and you'll be literally incapable of speech. Yeah, if you try to speak, just blood will come out. Yeah, so... The, also, they were unable to speak in the SCP documentation. It just said they, they died from impact. So yeah, they, <laughs> they couldn't speak, they couldn't do anything besides fall from the sky and die. Yeah. I slowly looked at Kloss as he uttered, Fear das Vaterland. With that, he died. Kloss slowly stood up, trying to wrap his mind around what had happened. As he looked down upon the body, he realized this man was wearing a German World War II SS uniform. What was a dead Nazi doing in Tokyo? Seventy-five oh, they, years oh, after the end. Well, they used it. They used the word. They used the naughty word. Okay. The war. From that point, he had been engrossed in his own private investigation to find out why the SS man was there, how he had gotten there, and what was the relation to that purple flash in the sky. They were clearly all tied together. His investigation had led him deeper and deeper into confidential files, but like his father, he wasn't about to let that get in his way. The deeper he dug, he kept on coming back to the same operation. All the different cases and investigation related to the dead Nazi kept on pointing to one oh incident near the close of the Second World War. Operation Hammer, the Foundation's infiltration of the German government during World War II. Rumors had been floating around that the Nazis had been harnessing anomalous okay. powers and persons to attain their goals of world domination. While the countries of the world engaged in open warfare, the Foundation remained in the shadows and conducted their own secretive infiltration and operations. They had assigned a scientist to lead Operation Hammer due to his high intelligence and also his German language skills. Herr Kloss, Sr., had managed to infiltrate the SS to the highest ranks and attained the rank of Obergruppenführer. His main concern was in locating, neutralizing, and if not possible, destroying SCP-2367, which the Germans referred to as Die Glocke, the bell. It was a 15 meter... How does it go from a simple spear covered in camouflage to a UFO bell with 
Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I understand. It's like hemisphere. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. Here, constructed of steel. There is a small control panel on the south side and a four meter square door adjacent to the control panel. The interior is a smooth hemisphere, approximately 13 meters in diameter. The device was built as a means of displacing objects, including live humans, to targeted no. points in space-time. No. In testing... It, it does humans and objects. Not just people. Also, they misused the multiple terms. One, you don't get to say it's a sphere, it counts as a sphere if it only looks like one inside. That's not how it works. Also, it's technically not supposed to be a sphere. It's half a sphere! <laughs> Which, by the way, is closer to a bell shape than a normal sphere. Wait, I want to look back. It does not even say that it's floating. Because it doesn't fucking float. Yeah. It's just on the ground. It doesn't need to flow. <laughs> Why would it need to flow? <laughs> that would make it harder to get in. <laughs> oh my god. Objects displaced in such a manner invariably appeared several hundred meters above their intended destination. Both forward and backward temporal travel have been achieved in testing. It requires no external power. Why did they include the Godzilla monster again? Why? Also, why are they showing the the mustache party person just gently floating them? We know that's not what happens. Yeah, you die instantly. <laughs> You don't die instantly, it's just when oh. you pop into the sky randomly, you fall. And it doesn't catch you. Yeah. If there's no one under you to put something down there to catch you, well, gravity doesn't work. Gravity does what gravity does best. Yeah, I'm just, a... yeah. Yeah, I'm just annoyed that they include Behemoth, a Godzilla monster, in here. But they have no right to be here. Oh, God. ...to operate. The construction and design of the Glocke was under the supervision of one SS Obergruppenführer Otto Weber, classified as Person of Interest 420714. Little was reported what? about him what? in the Can files. Weber, Weber was young enough to have had at least one child. Why do they look like this extremely old guy? We don't know his age, but we know he had a, at least one kid. Yeah. And he sounded like a young man who got married in a rush. Yeah. They literally aged up a character unnecessarily. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, they did. other than he had also disappeared close to the end of the war, around the same time as Kloss's father. From what he had gathered, Operation Hammer had intended to steal Die Glocke during the chaos of the final days of the war. They had intended to load it onto the back of a trailer and escape across the border to France during the night of May the 1st. Plans had been set in place with the Russians and Americans to halt their advance at Berlin until the Foundation had completed its move. However, things hadn't gone according to plan and instead the Allied forces had closed in on the location of SCP-2367 by April 30th, 1945. The Foundation records become unclear at this point, but it's- That's not what happened. They were successful. Yeah. It seems that Klaus's father had disregarded orders to withdraw. He planned to steal the device that night, pushing his schedule up by one day. The rush and chaos of this action is what seems to have led to the fiasco. 
Schloss's father and his mobile task force entered the hangar at 2 a.m. They had been informed by an infiltrator that the hangar would be empty as the remaining army and SS forces had withdrawn and intended to surrender. To his surprise, when he entered the hangar, he found a full field artillery platoon, a dozen Tiger I tanks, and regiments of Waffen SS. The hangar was lit up and men and machines were in full swing. The Glock. Yeah. Yeah. Does it not make anything accurate? Nope. Ow. It was glowing and humming. It was being powered up. In the middle of the room, a small detachment of officers surrounded a man. From what? He was not even mentioned in the article! <laughs> oh my god. Well, people hiled to him, but he was not there. Also... He did not interact with it. Also, the clone of that fucker, that anomaly wouldn't exist if he went inside that anomaly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. ...could gather. A fight broke out at this point at Kloss's father's attempt to neutralize SCP. You are correct, SCP. there's an entirely different SCP that literally goes against what they're making up right now. Yeah. <laughs> Two, three, six, seven, seeing no way of getting out. In the ensuing fight, Claus's father was lost, presumed killed. The Foundation took heavy losses. The only survivors managed to radio in for support, shortly before expiring as well. When reinforcement finally arrived, they would be massacred. Dead agents and SS soldiers alike were strewn across the hangar. What? SCP-2367 was in the you corner. What? what? Wait, what? They're showing it neutralized. I it's think both of us were a little curious on how they would somehow add more violence than there already is. Yeah. We have our answer. Mm-hmm. Are you okay? I I'm fine. But why the fuck did they neutralize the anomaly? <laughs> I don't know if they made it a weird UFO spaceship. I'm sure it'll pop back up fine. Yeah. Lying on its side. Yeah. Zoomed to have been heavily damaged. No sign of weapons, tanks, or soldiers remained. The hangar had been cleared. What, what do you mean there's no... Signs of soldiers and stuff for me. You see a bunch of them right here. <laughs> they said tanks. They said soldiers too. Oh, fuck, you're right. Yeah, they're right here. You know what? If it makes you feel any better, look at their uniform. You're, you're, you sound like you're someone who knows a lot about history. How accurate are those? None. <laughs> that doesn't even bother you, does it? Oh, uh, I. I'm not saying it doesn't. They look less like mustache party soldiers and more like strippers pretending to be. Yeah. Oh no, they do. Oh no! Also, the foundation uniforms are off too. I mean, this one right in front of the bell, it just looks like they're in a body bag. <laughs> it looks like a group of dead strippers! <laughs> After the damage to the Glocke, Russian troops reported encountering a column of soldiers and tanks four and a half kilometers from the hangar and engaged them. What? No survivors. Assume this was the remains of the tanks and soldiers from the hangar. The Glocke was relocated Wait, what, to a secure. What the black from? What the fuck? I need to go back.
soldiers and tanks, yeah, tanks four and a half kilometers from the hangar and engaged them. No survivors. So little forward. Oh yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. I don't know what that is. <laughs> This was the remains of the tanks and soldiers from the hangar. I the Glock was they relocated. Tried to do, but they failed to do it. Yeah. They tried to make it look like oil, but oil doesn't work that way. It also doesn't come out near the turret. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ...to a secure military hangar in Berlin, with level 5 security measures in place. Now, finally, Kloss had found it. Behind these doors, he hoped to find something that had been missed over the years. Something that could confirm his father had died those years ago. As he stepped through the hangar doors, he heard a hum and saw a faint purple glow. As he pushed through the doors, the light vanished and the hum stopped. Had it been his imagination, or was the Glocka still functional? They, the Foundation would have restored it like that. You would see a whole bunch of scientific shit around it and wires connected into it or something like that. Like the Very study. Technically, they would probably have nothing around it yeah. and it would be sealed in its own room because it can teleport people hundreds of miles in the air. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would just live it would just land on top of the foundation site. <laughs> He walked all around the device, but found nothing that hadn't been documented already. As he walked inside, he looked around and dragged his fingers across the cold, hard steel surface. Click. Something had moved under his fingers. He turned on his flashlight and searched the smooth surface. There was a hidden compartment. He pried what? at it with his fingernails, There's pushed no it, and tried to... Yeah, it doesn't exist. Slide it. Finally, it popped open. Inside was a single page which seemed to have military operational diagrams for some sort of small tactical invasion force. Kloss would later designate this event 2367 Sigma. That does exist, but that is mentioned at the beginning of the article. And it's, a, it's an event. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not a squad or anything. It's an event that will take place. <laughs> My God. He tried for years to explain to his higher ups and even the O5 Council. I have a problem with the O5 Council right here. They're all men. When I think I when like the O5 Council is comprised of like animal human hybrids or animal with human intelligence, women and men. Yes. <laughs> but they're all oh, men. All men. <laughs> Maybe there's a flat chested woman with short hair and the you know what fuck it. They, they made a woman. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they somehow they've added so many things that aren't supposed to be in there and they still somehow found a way to remove women even more. <laughs> like you could have had so much fun with the O five Council because they're a wild assortment of things. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you just make them just men. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. That event 2367 Sigma wasn't a joke. It was real, and it was going to happen. They were coming back. All of them. The tanks and soldiers hadn't left that night in April 1945. At least not via the road out of Berlin. The troops that the Russians had encountered... That's not how it works. You go through the door. They literally they did make it a UFO. In the 1930s. Yeah. I feel like they don't understand 1930s technology. Yeah. Do they understand anything about the 1930s? Do they understand history? Do no. They understand anything? No, they did not. That was a very firm no from you. <laughs> Me, I am reading the one last thing we have not read on this SCP. 
Yeah. And it still doesn't explain anything. <laughs> wow. So I mean, it does about the SCP, but not about the video. The thing is, I think they didn't even bother looking at either of those two. They just took the names. <laughs> I'm reading it very specifically because they didn't read it. Because I feel like this SCP is less about the, the not not so nice party, and it's more about uh mm -hmm. the the one family and his wife and his daughter and how war affected that family. Also corpses. It's about corpses. <laughs> people still fall from the fucking sky and die instantly. Yeah. How did they add more violence? I don't know. You want me to just keep continue playing the video? Uh, could I read this very, uh, quickly? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. This <laughs> is POI, which I think is person of interest. Four two zero seven one four. All right, from Ottawa Weber, direct project Klaus. Oh, Klaus! Project Klaus? To uh, someone I will not mention who was not so nice, and someone else who also was not nice. Yeah. Okay. But I. But does it even say they're affiliated with the foundation? But because because it doesn't. Which means they're with the German party. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Let, let's let's read. Blank, blank, because I am never reading that out loud. The closest to any family my got my family got from my dad's side involved in that war in any way. I think is the vagueness of my great grandfather who moved from Germany years before the war started vaguely, who was a farmer who abandoned his old name and became American, not German, vaguely. Yeah, anyway. The blank person I'm not mentioning, but was a very evil person and worked for the leader of the mustache party. <laughs> Development of the weapon is going well. For his unfortunate demise, our outside advisor provided us with sufficient information that I believe the new direction our project is being taken is still compatible with our initial goals. However, it is my understanding that the new direction our project has taken will require materials and equipment we do not have available in our current base of operations. Therefore, I'm requesting the relevant specialist and materials be sent. In our base of operations be changed. I will allow the decision to be made at your di discretion. I'm not sure why I'm reading that dramatically. Fun. Included in this document are details of project progress before the change in project objectives. I have also sent the last artifact recovered by our archaeologist. I'm afraid your intentions of changing this into an armor development project leaves us without qualified academics. If we are creating a mechanized weapon to win the war, I need engineers, scientists, mechanics, and not archaeologists and historians. The blank person may not approve of this project, but I believe our efforts may prove vital in the later hours of this war. Sincerely, Otto Weber. Also, that one SS person and the Klaus, Klaus director. Right? Wait, one. wait, what? in the video, they misspelled Colas. Uh, they put K-L-O-S-S -S in the video, not K-O-L-S-O-S-S. -S -S. Of course they did. <laughs> yeah. All right, the next letter from Ottawa Weber and, and Klaus. Blank, blank. 
a person that's very high and and worked for the mustache man i received the word from your australian contact i'm afraid that the time and resources necessary to procure those materials are too much however i understand this project is now partially under the jurisdiction of minister spear that he may be willing to make these expenses our first shipment is scheduled to arrive in October. I hope to have secured for us the equipment and specialists we need by then. We also need re re we also need resupply of basic amenities. Amenities. There we go. Yeah. And ammunition. Our local allies are growing suspicious, and it is my understanding that the British and Americans are pooling greater and greater resources into their African campaign, putting our research at risk. I must... Okay, Ottawa Weber did not do that, but... Yeah, <laughs> I'm starting to see, I must burp sound in parentheses once again. <laughs> I must once again reassert that our current base of operations is unsuitable for this project. Your Australian contact has stated that he need, that he has means of delivering anywhere we may move, including the fatherland. Specifications of the equipment and personal personnel we require in order to proceed with the project are as planned are enclosed alongside a list of suitable locations for moving the project and resources necessary to do so if you so decide sincerely Otto Weber SS person and Klaus the project director director okay next that that means Klaus, they lied again in the video because they were speaking like Klaus was working for Weber but it was yeah. never working for Klaus. Yep. Oh my gosh. Blank, blank. Uh, talking to the guy that worked for the mustache man that was very evil. The last relevant equipment has been shipped to the commerce store's proving, proving ground. Okay, proving ground, whatever. For the final construction, the construction of the weapon and subsequent tests. All that remains to be shipped are the personnel still relevant to this project. I still have doubts to the trustworthiness of your Australian contact. Poverty has sent me information regarding the materials he is delivering. Must admit, his assistance will help greatly in the mitigating costs of this project. I assume the engineers at CUP are in the process of creating the main armament for the weapon. You must understand, right? The, the one person. Our research will only be able to create an armored ch chassis and the means of propelling your vehicle and not the prime primary armament itself. Regardless, I look forward to the conclusion of this project and demonstrating to the mustache man that our research has not been, I mean, has not been for naught. Sincerely, on November, the SS person and the project director class. Blank, blank. Of course, all letters must go to him. Yeah, I mean, must praise him, I mean. Ineligible. And entity Klaus appears cooperative and has correctly bonded to the illegible. However, we still require an armament appropriate for the tank. Conventional, I mean, conventional, ill eligible, underpowered, and would be, and I mean, and would qualify as the under 
underutilization of resources for a project of this scale. A battery of coastal and naval guns would ineligible, but this may be understanding that Minister Spear has other projects similar in scale, ineligible, adequate. Therefore, I'm requesting that one more of special armaments be pro procured for this with this all further tax ineligible. Wait, what happened to the project director? What what happened to him? Why is he why how is okay but let, let's oh the last letter doesn't seem like it says who it's who it's from, only who it's to. Yep. Regarding ongoing research. Blank blank. The the one bad person ineligible final delivery was made by your australian contact last thursday we will ineligible tomorrow with tests on all systems beginning thereafter minister spear ineligible weapon system has nearly been completed on delivery of the main turret we aim to deploy this weapon against leningard in order to end the stalemate all further text ineligible what happened to Klaus? We don't know. All texts except the following are ineligible. Leningrad, no survivors. Why did I accidentally go Irish there? <laughs> the Germans turn Irish. I don't think they turn Irish. Uh, I'm just part Irish. But I didn't expect that to happen. Except for the Journal of Unknown American Soldier. Oh, excerpt from the Journal of an Unknown American Soldier. Recovered six months following the failed Normandy landing. I heard it before I saw it. I saw it come over the horizon. Yet I heard it before I saw it. It didn't sound like a tank or any sort of engine I ever heard. It sounded like something growling. The gun went off. There was a flash. Then a roar. Like a bull getting branded. A thousand times louder. And there was a flash and a boom like I never heard again behind me. I haven't heard anything since then. I think I've gone deaf. <laughs> Sunk the whole damn fleet. The whole goddamn fleet. I don't want to think about the number of soldiers still on those boats. I'm surprised the Ruskies and the Cross put it up as good of a fight as they did. I have no idea what those words are. I hope they're not bad words. Oh, no. Uh, I think Ruskies is, Rus is the Russians. Oh, then it's just calling them Russians and Kratz is probably German. Yeah. You know, Kratz for sauerkraut is not exactly the worst thing to call on. I wouldn't mind being called a food. <laughs> The French civilians we encountered did a tarask. I don't know enough French to know what it, that means. I like to think it means the work of Satan himself. He's the only one who could have made that fucking thing. I mean, because that's the only one who could have made that fucking thing. I don't think I'm ever getting rest. Hopefully someone finds this and helps them put a, a way to kill that. The fucking abomination against God. I leave this journal in Crot Pillbox so it lasts a while longer and isn't too far from the shore. That also does that if that's the sound it makes. Wait, is that the sound it made or the sound the tank made? I don't think we know because it didn't mention whether it was the anomaly or it just said something glowing with a flash. Well, when a gun went off and there was a flash and a roar. Yeah, and they said it was a tarask, which is not what the bell is called. Yeah. 
So I think the sound came from the Tarask, not the SCP. The Tarask, is that a different SCP? Maybe. Oh. A copy of a flyer posted throughout the United Kingdom Destruction of London. Attention all citizens, by order of Prime Minister Anthony Eden, mandatory evacuation of the British Isles begins on July 31st, 1944. You must register for passage if you intend to remain united with your family. Final evacuation is scheduled for October 31st, 1944. Registering for passage is the only guarantee for evac of evacuation. Register at your local post office as soon as possible. From the book of Job, chapter 40, Behold now the behemoth that I have made for you. Behold now his strength. His limbs are as strong as copper, his bones as a load of iron. He is the first of God's ways. Only his maker can draw his sword against him. I feel like that's a reference to the Tarask. Mm -hmm. That was the probably the weapon that it that the that SCP two three six seven was supposed to work with. That was not a nice weapon, was it? So the video, from what I'm getting has basically totally erased the weapon altogether is what I'm getting. So it is also the weapon. It is the Tarask and the the bell. What are you muted? Uh, sorry, there was noise outside. I didn't want to get picked up. Anyways, I, I looked at it uh, in a letter. There's like a spear has, has other projects, which is click clickable. Yeah. I won't, I, I, we're not going to go through all of it, but basically, quick description, SCP-044 is how it's secretly manufactured in the late stages of the Second World War by Krupp engineers. Oh. Yeah, SCP-044. That's what that anomaly is talking about, because in the picture, hold on, I can, it, it pretty much describes, that's the weapon being fired. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's talking about SB044 right there. Probably. Yeah. Let, let's see what else they change. Yeah. Let's finish this off and then rank it. If we're a different regiment or a ruse, that SS regiment had made it into the Glocka. All of them. All 1,400 or more of them, and they were coming back. They were coming back in 10 years. October 13, 2031. That man in the middle, he must have been Hitler. He wasn't dead. He was coming back. The entire operation had been engineered by SS Obergruppenführer Otto Weber, the man Klaus believed who had also killed his father that night. Tonight, October 13th. 2031. Klaus was waiting for them. Yeah. The I'll be right back. I'm being called for Rest didn't listen, but Klaus knew, and he was going to be there for this. He wouldn't miss it for the world. He sat in the hangar, lights off, waiting. He'd show them all he wasn't crazy. Event 2367 Sigma was real, and it was happening now. On cue, the air near the top of the hangar lit up in purple. Clouds and lightning flashed. He smelled metal in the air. A massive flash and a whiplash blinded him momentarily. He looked away, waiting for his eyes to regain focus. He heard what sounded like footsteps. No, not footsteps. It was goose stepping. He focused his eyes. Standing before him wasn't the regiment of SS he had expected. Goose stepping is it wasn't. technically a type of stepping. Yeah. All types of marching are a type of stepping. Mm-hmm. Saying it's not stepping, it's stepping is stupid. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You're fine. The division, at least 6,000 troops and dozens of tanks. Heil Hitler, 
rang up in unison from the assembled troops. One man came forward to him. By the uniform, Klaus could tell he was an SS Obergruppenführer. It had to be Otto Weber, the man who killed his father. In his coat, Klaus's hand closed around his gun. The man stopped in front of him and raised his head to look him in the eye. What? What was going on? This wasn't Otto Weber. It was... It was him. A clone? An illusion? The man smiled. Don't be confused. I knew if anyone could figure this out, it would be you. You look well, my son. Klaus's eyes widened. His father hadn't died that night. I know you have a lot of questions, but all you need to understand for now is that I made a choice. That night, I made a choice and I don't regret it. Join us, leave the foundation behind, and follow the Fuhrer. Klaus was in shock. His father- This is stupid. Yeah, Sorry. the foundation would wipe them all out in an instant. They have done it before. They nearly wiped out an entire planet. <laughs> you yeah, said also all the ones that came from the bell were basically dead since where they fell. Yeah. Alive. And now a Nazi? He gathered himself together. No. You chose wrong. Did I? Did you explain to the Foundation what would happen tonight? Did they laugh and ridicule you? Is this the people you're standing up for now? With a glint in his eye and a smirk on his mouth, Klaus replied, Who said they didn't believe me? You did! Well, I'm glad Klaus what? is on the case for this one. The last thing we need they right now? on their own fucking story. Yeah. Okay, let's rate this. <laughs> Removal of characters slash license. We have to put a three because they put the Godzilla character. <laughs> they did mess around with characters. Added gore or violence. Somehow, four. <laughs> they added a lot of violence. Deviates from the planet article, four. <laughs> We have to put a four on only men because yeah, they literally wiped out every female character it had. It had more than one. It didn't keep any. Okay. Five percent. Yay! Of course, the fifteen percent from two nine one two was too much. We couldn't have that, could we? No.